On the morning of May 5th, 1961, the primary goal of Project Mercury came sharply into focus. Three successful unmanned flights had proved that the Redstone launch vehicle and spacecraft were ready for manned application. Today, the ballistic mission would be flown once again, but this one, Mercury Redstone number three, would be different. For Navy Commander Alan B. Shepard, the countdown had begun months earlier. From the day he was selected to be the first American to attempt suborbital space flight, he had undergone 40 separate simulated flights. Three days ago, he had stood as he stood now when the flight was scrubbed for weather. But today, May 5th, the weather was go. The launch vehicle and the spacecraft named Freedom 7 were go. The launch pad crews and downrange recovery forces were go. and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. I can you. This is Freedom 7. The fuel is go 1.2 G. Kevin at 14 PSI. Oxygen is go. As the launch and flight of Freedom 7 were monitored by Mercury Control, it became apparent that all systems were functioning perfectly. At 5 minutes and 14 seconds after launch, at a peak altitude of 116 statute miles, the retro rockets fired, and astronaut Shepard in Mercury spacecraft Freedom 7 began his long plunge back to Earth. Astronaut Alan Shepard, the first American to achieve spaceflight, was successfully recovered from Mercury spacecraft Freedom 7. His recovery, and also that of the spacecraft, completed all the mission objectives of Mercury Redstone Number 3.